Hello everybody, this is our first video on Photoshop, uh, so in Photoshop, for Photoshop, so this is going to be for uh, creating a repeatable fabric uh, design. Uh, I'm going to choose this uh, zebra print and I want to use one of the new features that Photoshop has to offer just to make this work. I usually want to use a uh, zebra print, but since it's in a, since we have this new technique, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and crop it. Uh, I'm going to pick out an area. I don't like to get any of this uh, dark stuff. I want to try to get a nice even uh, shade here. So I'm going to go ahead and go, say about right here. And uh, let's move it up a little bit. Double click. And I think that's fairly decent. Uh, let me check my image size. I'm at six inches by six inches roughly at 300 dpi for a class try to work around 150 okay next thing i'm going to do is duplicate the layer i want to have that clean layer left in there i don't want to be able i want to be able to revert to it if need be okay uh next thing we need to do is if you need to do it uh if you're if you feel that your colors are nice and perfect fine but we can always adjust, we can go to levels, and in levels we could bring up the brightness and the darkness of the fabric. Let's bring in the brights. All right, I think that's good for mine. Uh, let's go to offset, because if you remember in class we discussed offset where it's gonna take, it's gonna split into four uh, sections and uh, basically crisscross everything. Let's go to Filter, Other, Offset. Let's take a look see what's going on. All right, so here's one section. Here's the other section. I can click on this and just bring it in the center, see what I'm looking at here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go with this. And now the goal is to make all the insides connect. The outside should be a perfect repeatable pattern but inside has to be a full repeat as well so let's go ahead and take the lasso tool I'm just gonna create an area like so okay then go to edit fill and I'm going to choose content aware, making sure that mode is normal and opacity is 100%, and click OK. Let's see what happens here. All right. So let me deselect, and it's blending fairly well. We do have some adjustments that need to be taken care of. so. We can go ahead and adjust those. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, scrubby zoom here. Okay. For this section, right in here, I'm going to take my clone stamp tool and just clone this out, make it just blend it in. Just, I'm going to blend it right through here. Computer's acting a little slow. Okay, here obviously it's not as easy as the other one, but let's see what we could do. So my computer is definitely acting slow. We 
because it's so slow, I'm not sure what's happening and I'm overstepping. Okay, let's see. I'm happy with that, somewhat. I mean, I could have done a better job a little bit, but I only have 15 minutes to demonstrate this, unless I have to make another video, let's see. Okay, here, let's take this. Okay, let's take it from this side. make it less hard. That's looking pretty good. Zoom up. Let's get rid of this. Alright, and let's check the bottom here. There's a little section here. Let's actually extend this down. A little bit larger on my pen tool, I mean my clone stamp tool. That's how I curved that. There we go. All right. Let's see here. All right, I'm happy. Let's zoom out. All right. So. When I zoom in, I see a little bit of red in here. So what I like to do, since I know this is a black and white image, I'm gonna go ahead and go to image, adjustments, and just go to black and white. And that's gonna take out all that color for me. Any color that's in there is gone. So let's zoom in now. You can see that it's strictly black and white. It's gonna make it easier for me to adjust it because when we go into uh, image, adjustments, replace color. Black and white are pretty difficult to adjust. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take our magic wand. It's set at 32. Let's see. Seems like it's doing a good job. So I'm going to go to select similar. And before I do anything else, let's see how good it's going in. It's okay. Uh, Actually, I'm going to go ahead and confirm this, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. So I'm going to go to uh, Copy, okay, and New Layer. Actually, if I paste, it's going into a new layer. So now this is what we have. Okay, so now I'm going to take a new another layer, put it underneath it, and fill it with the white. paint bucket and just fill okay now as you can see the uh, white area does not have a texture and we can add a texture but we'll keep that for another time okay for the white actually let's change the white to a different color because we're doing a second color combo here <clears throat> let me go ahead with like a deep navy or a purple or whatever the color that's gonna come out okay now for this, this other section here, uh, let's go ahead and select it by clicking Command and the thumbnail. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a gold. And let's go with a new layer. Edit, fill, foreground, OK. I'm doing this because I want to make this an overlay. or not. Let's go normal and what I'm going to do here is just lower the opacity. See if I can get a texture out of it. Alright. Now this is my starting point. Okay, so this is what I want to do with this. This is 
a full repeat. We got a colorway going here. Now what I can do now is from here, I would take these two layers and merge them together. Right click merge layers. And I can also go to image adjustments. If you don't want this, or if you want you can just keep it and just go and get a another uh, I lost my track of my, thought, my train of thought here. Let's just replace color really quick. So let's choose the yellow. How sensitive do you want it? Fuzziness will be really sensitive. Get other areas besides just your you know your goal or be picking just go into the nook and crannies of your fabric. So let's go to about right here and take this and start adjusting saturation and you have your lightness alright so let's see here maybe green let's go purple purple looks cool and for the blue I could just fill it uh, what I'd like to actually do is just go ahead and unite uh, merge these two layers together then adjust it this way adjustments replace color, choose the blue areas and I think blue is still the best alright and repeat this three times for your assignment so I only have a couple seconds, a couple maybe a minute or two left uh, so this is how you can colorize a fab one way to colorize a fabric swatch. There's many other ways, including the other ways I showed in class. Uh, but this is one technique, and this technique allows you to do something like a uh, zebra print or even a paisley, you know, with the edit fill content to wear. All right, guys, I hope this helped you out. Uh, good luck with this, and we'll talk more in class. Let's go ahead and shut this off.